You are listening to the Rewards Canada Podcast. Podcast. Welcome to episode 107 of the Rewards Canada Podcast. I want to welcome you all back after a break in releasing true podcast episodes outside of our weekly This Week in Rewards newscast that we started putting up on, on our podcast channel not too long ago. So let's get right into it. In this episode, we'll be discussing Canada's favorite credit cards and loyalty reward programs as voted by you, the Rewards Canada community and Canadians from all across the nation. That's right, we're looking at the results of our 2023 Canada's Choice Awards. I have to say, the turnout this year was absolutely amazing. It was record-breaking. Our previous record turnout, which was just last year in 2022, we had over 21,000 people cast votes. But this year, that record was smashed. The turnout for this year, over 82,500 votes. (sighs) What can I say? A big thank you to everyone who came out who voted this year, and it really sets the bar high for 2024. I got to start planning, and hopefully all you guys can help out. Let's start planning to break 100,000 votes next year. That would be amazing if we could do that. But again, a big shout out and thank you to everybody who, who turned out and voted this year. Now, surprisingly, even with the big turnout of the, the results ended up being very similar to 2022 with only two categories seeing new winners, which I'll, I'll get into the winners and results following up. But the, the bigger turnout with it, we did see the majority of the categories being more closely contested. Um, there were a couple of blowouts still. The, those blowouts really came from the hands of PC Financial slash PC Optimum, whose email campaign to their members had many of them come out and vote. Um, other programs also encouraged their members to vote, like Aeroplan and Scene Plus. Uh, those are the three that I'm aware of, those three programs. Um, but really, the, the most engaged were by far the PC Financial, PC Optimum people. Um, so yeah, so there's definitely a few blowouts at, at the hands of that program. Um, now, if uh, actually, like I said, those are the only ones I'm aware of. It is possible others did some outreach as well. If you did see other programs reach out to you, like if you received an email from, I don't know, your bank, if it was BMO or from Air Miles or something like that, um, shoot me, uh, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email and because uh, I'd love to hear of other programs if they did outreach like this. And with all that said, let's dive right in to the winners and results of Canada's Choice 2023. Just as in 2022, we had 10 categories that Canadians can vote in. And the first one is the top overall travel rewards credit card. Uh, In this category, it's the same card holding on to first place as in 2022. And that is the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card. Uh, This time around, they they took the win with 19.27% of the vote. That's actually a drop from 37% in 2022. So like I was mentioning how things are getting closer with uh, more people voting. This is what we see here. Um, It knocked, or I shouldn't say knocked, it it kept the RBC Avion card, which actually moved up a few spots. In second place, they were just shy of 12% of the votes. RBC Avion Visa Infinite actually finished up fourth last year. So they moved up two spots. In third spot this year, we have the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite card with just over 10% of the vote. They actually dropped down from second to third. Uh, Fourth spot this year sees the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite card making a big jump from ninth spot all the way up to fourth. And rounding out the top five is the BMO Air Miles World Elite MasterCard, which uh, last year was in seventh and moved up to fifth. It knocked the WestJet RBC World Elite MasterCard out of fifth. Also being knocked out of the top five from last year was the Platinum card from American Express, which uh, came in at eighth spot this year in the top overall travel rewards credit card category. The next category we had up was the top no annual fee travel rewards credit cards. These are your cards that never have an annual fee attached to it. And this was one of the two categories where we crowned a new winner, a new champion here. And that card was the TD Rewards Visa card. They came in with 19.27% of the vote. And this one was closely contested because second place was the Scotiabank Scene Visa card with 18.08%. So it's a little over 1% difference of Uh, what is that, out of 49,000 votes. So uh, just under 500 votes probably separating those two, right around 500 votes. Uh, So really close. Like I said, this year's results, uh, I'm personally very happy with them because they, I think they're starting to show that more and more people are coming out to vote and a wide range of Canadians because of the numbers being this much closer. 
Uh, in third spot, it's the same car as last year, and that's the BMO Air Miles MasterCard. This is the no-fee version of it. This year they came in with 12% of the vote versus last year's 9%, so they, they even increased a bit there. Fourth spot was last year's winner, so dropping from first to fourth with the CIBC Aeroplan Visa card. That's the only no-fee Aeroplan co-brand card in Canada. Uh, they came in with 12% of the vote. Last year they had close to 30%, so big change there. Uh, and rounding out the top five was the RBC ION Visa card, which uh, moved up one spot from last year's ranking. So that those are the top five no annual fee cards. So I said these ones are really close. I mean, first place, 19% of the vote, fifth place, 7%. Um, uh, really, the numbers are quite a bit different than last year. So, this, so like I said, very encouraging. I do like that. We have the top airline credit card category. And just like in 2022, and not surprisingly because it took the overall card as well, the winner here is the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card, coming in with 33.5% of the total votes. Uh, that's definitely a drop from last year. Last year they did 46% of the votes. Uh, this year, 33, but still top spot uh, for the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card. We here at Rewards Canada, we rank it as the second best overall card in the nation in our research ranking so no surprise that it also does really well with uh, Canadians voting for it especially with Air Canada and Aeroplan being you know kind of the most popular and biggest airline program in Canada so yeah so TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite Card taking top spot there that was followed in second place by the CIBC Aeroplan Visa Infinite Card uh, basically this you know almost the same same thing there with this card and the TD card um, last year 24% of the votes this year 19% of the votes in third spot, though, moving up a spot from last year was the WestJet RBC World Elite MasterCard. They, they, they did a pretty big jump here, 17.4% of the votes. Last year, only 8.28. They knocked the American Express Aeroplan card out of third spot, which takes a fourth spot this year with 10% of the vote. And rounding out the top five, just like last year, is the RBC British Airways Visa Infinite card. But even its numbers were encouraging, went from under 1% last year to 3.22% this year. So, uh, you know, 3% of the votes, not huge, but definitely it, it grew there. And they said these, uh, these, all these numbers to me are, are encouraging in overall, uh, I guess, in the broad spectrum of things. So that's your top airline category. Next up, we had the top no foreign transaction fee rewards credit card. Um, this one, no change in the winner from uh, last year, this year, and that is the Scotiabank Passport Visa Infinite card. Now, it did drop 7% in terms of total votes. Last year was 37%. This year, it only took 30% of the votes. In second spot, um, now, this year moved up was the Scotiabank Gold American Express card, which took third last year, with 11.86% of this year's votes. Dropping the third was the HSBC World Elite Mass card. This is the card that was second last year. Uh, that kind of doesn't really surprise me that HSBC is going to be dropping here. I mean, we have the whole issue of, or not issue, but uh, stories of RBC taking over HSBC. It's almost, the acquisition's almost done. HSBC, right at the time as this voting was going on, uh, shut down applications for new cards. So yeah, um, it, it's still an amazing card. We consider it the best no foreign transaction fee card in Canada. Um, Canada voted as the, their third favorite. Um, but even, you know, last year was second, second to third. So uh, not a huge change for them. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, you know, by the time we do these rankings next year, um, this card will probably not be on the list if it doesn't open up to new applications. Even if it's grandfathered and people are still using it like they are now, uh, we may not include it on the list uh, just because uh, more people can't get the card. So fourth spot uh, stays the same as last year, and that's the Scotiabank Platinum American Express card. And fifth spot also remains the same, and as the Home Trust Preferred Visa card. Now going into our fifth uh, category uh, is all still in the credit cards and this is the top cashback rewards credit card so here um, we this is the second category out of the two that we said have new new uh, winners in that category then this year we crowned the PC financial worldly mash card as the top cashback rewards credit card in Canada 27% uh, of the vote for them uh, last year this card was fourth with only 8% of the vote so it, it really shot up in the rankings, like I said, the PC did outreach, other programs did too, but their people really, really engaged in the voting. So 27% of the vote there. Um, I know some people say, well, it's not a true cashback card. And I agree, it isn't a true cashback card, but it's it's close. You know, you're getting cash back at the till when you're redeeming those points. Yes, you can do that with other programs. Um, 
I kind of lump the the shopping carts together with cashback for the rankings here, just because I don't want you know, an endless amount of categories people vote in. I think 10 is even pushing it for people to vote in. I'm sure some people probably didn't finish even completing voting because of their 10 categories. So, so that's something we always have to struggle with is like, you know, the, the proper balance of what we do. How many categories do you do? How many rankings do you have? Um, you know, all these things. I mean, it's just like, you know, our, our top, tra- when we do our top travel rankings that we now, we've expanded to eight categories and I feel that's too much. And yet I find, I go to some other places and they're, they're like awarding 20 different badges and have 20 different rankings. Like, well, really that's, that seems like, too much and 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 it's really confusing so sometimes you have to lump things together and that is why we kind of have the shopping programs like triangle and pc financials lumped into cash back because that's the closest thing that they they are and yeah so anyways let's get back to it pc financial world elite mask card number one voted card for top cash back rewards credit card in second spot was last year's winner and that's the td cashback visa infinite card uh, they would they dropped from 20 percent to 12 percent of the vote Third spot this year was the Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite card, same as last year. This year it took more votes. It got 10% versus 8. In fourth spot was the CIBC Dividend Visa Infinite card. This card dropped from second to fourth spot, uh, 16% of the votes last year to uh, just under 10% this year. And rounding out the top five was the same card as last year in fifth swap, the BMO Cashback World Elite MasterCard. And so those are your top cashback rewards credit cards that are favorited by Canadians. And the last credit card category we'll look at in this podcast and in our rankings is the top ultra premium credit card. So these are the ones that have uh, the bigger annual fees. They, they cost more, but they also come with more benefits, more rewards. Um, uh, no change here from last year. The winner is the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite Privilege Card. Now, it did it with less votes than last year. La- last year it took 30%. This year, 23.3%. Uh, in second spot, uh, shooting up from fifth spot to second was the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege Card, taking 14% of the votes. In third spot was the CIBC Aeroplan Visa Infinite Privilege. It dropped from second to third. Fourth spot is the card that we ourselves consider the best ultra premium card in Canada, and that's the Platinum card from American Express, uh, retaining the same spot as last year. And in fifth spot, rounding out the ultra premiums was the Scotiabank Platinum American Express card, which uh, moved up from seventh spot. So those are your top cards in the top ultra premium credit card category. And that rounds out all of the voting that we had for credit cards. And now we move into our last four categories, which are kind of the generalized loyalty categories. I mean, the first one's still credit cards, but it's our top credit card reward program in general. So, of course, these programs have multiple credit cards under them. So that's why we lump it in kind of more of the loyalty program side of things. And this year's winner for top credit card reward program is the same as last year's, and that is the PC Optimum program. <clears throat> with their PC financial credit cards. This was one of the blowouts. 55% of the votes here versus 24% last year. That like is just a huge change there. Um, so kudos to all the PC members who came out and voted. You you really shot the, the program up in the rankings here. More than double um, in terms of percentage. Uh, you know, over 68,000 votes cast in this category. So that's, you know, probably close to 40,000 uh, votes were for the PC Optimum program as the top credit card program. And then moving up to second place was Seen Plus from sixth all the way to second place, taking 13% of four, uh, the vote, which dropped TD Rewards from its second spot last year down to third. CIBC took fourth spot and American Express Membership Rewards, which was in third last year, dropped down to fifth. Um, the other uh, program that was in the top five last year, Avion Rewards, uh, dropped down to sixth this year. Um, so yeah, so that's your top credit card reward programs as voted by the Canadian public. And that brings us to the next loyalty program, and that's the top airline loyalty program, or as like some of us like to call it, top frequent flyer program. And once again, the winner here is Air Canada's Aeroplan. Um, this year, they took 63% of the vote versus last year's 88%. So a little bit, you know, a little bit of a change here. Still, still huge compared to second. Westjet Rewards was in second place again, taking 20% of the vote. But that's a big jump from the 6% last year. 
third place again, Porter's VI Porter. But uh, you know, they since the last time we we ran this, they've began their big expansion. They've updated the program. So instead of just 0.65% of the vote like last year, they've taken 2.32%. Uh, in fourth place, uh, Delta Sky Miles retains fourth place uh, compared to last year, so they're in the same spot. Um, but we had a new program take in fifth, and that's Air France KLM's Flying Blue, which really makes sense as well. Last year they were in sixth. They have a new credit card here in Canada. They've been revamping their, their program, and it's it has become like one of the most attractive programs for Canadians. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see its numbers grow next year as well, if they continue on the path that they're doing right now. It is, uh, you know, you, if you follow Rewards Canada, listen to me, watch me on YouTube or read my articles, you know that uh, I, I, I think that this program has lots to provide for Canadians. Uh, so what that did though, last year's fifth spot was British Airways Executive Club. They were knocked out of the top five, but they actually ended up in eighth place. Qatar Airways and Cathay Pacific both jumped ahead of British Airways this year. So that is, rounds up your top airline loyalty program, which brings us to the next major travel program, and that is the top hotel loyalty program. And once again this year, the winner there is Marriott Bonvoy. Um, not a surprise here, they, t they tend to win a lot of the hotel uh, voting things around the world as the one of the biggest hotel chains and hotel loyalty programs, one of the most popular. And despite a lot of changes, still one of the most valuable as well. Um, but this is where one, you know, where the numbers came a lot, came in a lot closer in our voting. Last year they had 42% of the vote versus second place 18%. This year they come in with 25% of the vote versus 19% second, so quite a bit closer. So yeah, so Marriott still takes the win, but hot on their heels was Best Western Rewards, who actually came in with 19 and a quarter percent of the vote, so not far off from Marriott's 25%. Last year, Best Western was in fourth, so they, they shot up quite a bit. And like I said, the numbers are getting quite a bit closer. And with Best Western taking second spot, they dropped Hilton Honors from second spot down to third. Hilton had 18.5% last year. This year, 15.5% roughly of, of the votes. Um, but also shooting up in this year's rankings was Wyndham Rewards from sixth to fourth spot. Um, they knocked, uh, who was it, ISG won rewards lower too because uh, with Best Western moving up and Wyndham moving up, ISG won rewards was in third last year. This year they take fifth spot. Um, so that's your top hotel loyalty programs. Uh, and the final uh, category we had in all of Canada's choice and voting is the sh top shopping loyalty program. And just like last year, the winner here, and no surprise if, if <laughs> you've already been listening and, and know the turnout, PC Optimum wins this category. And this is one where they actually extended their lead by quite a bit. Last year, they had just under half the votes with 49.31%. This year, 67.27% of the 77, over 77,000 votes that were cast in this category. So big turnout from PC Optimum. Uh, so they hold on to first spot there. Uh, second place, we see Scene Plus shoot up. Last year, they were in fourth spot. This year, in second spot. Um, not surprising seeing their expansion and now that they're fully, you know, in store at Sobeys and Safeway and other Empire uh, grocery stores uh, across the nation. Uh, they've launched with home hardware, uh, lots of marketing campaigns. And of course, you know, earlier in the year, we had the Air Miles news of Air Miles parent company go almost, or no, they did go bankrupt, which almost caused the demise of Air Miles, but Air Miles is on a rebound. But I think with all this news happening, Air Miles did drop down to third spot this year with only 7.95% of the vote versus last year's 22% of the vote. Um, but they're they're on a tear. They're coming back. So I'll be curious to see what happens next year with the rankings and where Air Miles ends up uh, after we see what they do over the next 12 months or so. In uh, third, or sorry, fourth spot this year was Triangle Rewards. They dropped down from third last year. They were actually ahead of Scene Plus last year. So they are now in fourth. And then RBC's Avion Rewards, which we now include in here because you can join Avion Rewards without having an RBC product. They are in fifth spot um, with 2.18% of the vote. And those are all your results in our 10 categories that people voted in. Now, one thing I can say about the results is that yes, like any other voting processes out there, like if you vote for um, the Freddie Awards in terms of frequent flyer programs, or like these Skytrax voting, or, or any of these different types of voting that are out there, um, 
the processes are definitely swayed by the nominees, so the programs or credit card issuers, banks, you name, who do the most outreach. And this year, uh, we by far had the most outreach ever from nominees. Um, so we, I know we had Aeroplan uh, reach out to their membership base, Scene Plus, PC Optimal all reached out, and I'm sure there were some others. I'm almost thinking RBC did the way their numbers shot up, but who knows? But Maybe there's this, maybe their their increase was natural. Like I said, I, I don't know of everybody who reached out, but yeah, but this was definitely the year we had the most outreach, um, and the, you know, but the, to me the results were more promising as the numbers for the majority of categories were much closer. Yeah, a couple blowouts there for sure, but in general, um, the numbers are getting closer. So I so I feel it kind of gives a better representation of the Canadian population's favorites overall. Um, we'll see what happens next year. If more programs, if, if all the programs did outreach, then I think that would be the most, um, you know, the best representation or if none did any at all. But, um, you know, that's the thing. They, they like to market it. They want, you know, all these programs want to be front and center. They want to have their name out there. So they will reach out for these voting things so that they can get our badge and place it there. And, um, yeah, so hopefully next year, more people will, will have outreach. <laughs> you know, I would love it because then that'll get us, like I said, I've put out the challenge there that next year we, we, we break 100,000 votes. So um, it's going to really take um, the, the whole village to do this. It's going to take the Rewards Canada community. It's going to take us here at Rewards Canada and it's going to take the programs to, to reach out to their members to come and vote. Um, so yeah, but um, the other thing I'll, I'll get into here is what the results also tell me. Uh, looking at this based on our research, and is that after even of 23 years that Rewards Canada still hasn't worked cut out for in educa educating Canadians on credit cards and loyalty programs, and which are the best. And this is not to take away from the winners. Many of them are excellent. We rank programs like Aeroplan, Marriott, and TD Aeroplan cards high up there. We're big fans of the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite card. I mean, Everybody loves PC Optimum. PC Optimum is great if you shop at Loblaw stores. Um, but, you know, when you see a card such as the American Express Cobalt card, which, I mean, if you follow Rewards Canada, no, is hands down the best travel rewards card in Canada, not to mention one of the best cashback cards, to come into 10th spot, then there's definitely work to be done. But again, it comes out down to, you know, outreach. Um, but I think it, it's also knowledge. I, and I think... Um, I, I think a lot of people are unaware of the options out there in terms of loyalty programs and credit cards and that there may be better options for them. You know, it, I, I'm even guilty of this. You, you get comfortable with, with things that you have in your wallet. You get comfortable with the where you shop, how you shop and all these things. And, and you know, and you don't want to change. And then I think that's, you know, so it's kind of a, you know, that's part of our job at Rewards Canada. Our mission is to help Canadians make the most of their programs. You know, our mantra we've had for, uh, gosh, how has it been 15 years? More miles, more points, re more rewards. That's what we're trying to do for Canadians is to help everybody earn more miles, earn more points so that they can redeem for more rewards and better rewards and all that. So yes, definitely have uh, my work cut out for me to, to help educate Canadians on the credit cards and loyalty programs out there, the ones that can be best for them. But you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. So let's close it out here. That's all she wrote for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to help spread the word so that we can keep bringing you the best loyalty rewards content in Canada. Share the podcast. Hit the like button. Leave a five-star review on your favorite listening platform. If you're watching slash listening to this on YouTube, leave us a comment below. Hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time a new video gets uh, posted. Have yourselves a great day and I will talk to you next time. The Rewards Canada podcast is produced in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with music produced by Regina Zone, TW, KOP.